Now, they've been out of the spotlight for a while, but the Scissor Sisters are officially back with a bang with their third album, Nightwork. We chatted to the glam rockers about why they won't be going gaga anytime soon. You can see that you're being surrounded from every direction. Scissor Sisters danced into Dublin with their latest album, Nightwork, and with the single Fire with Fire storming the charts, life couldn't be better for this quirky New York band. I think we're one of the luckiest bands in the world. It's so amazing, and I, I never take that for granted. I don't, I, you know, playing shows, making records, people enjoying them and, and being, being excited about them, I, I, I never... Yeah, I never just count on it. I think it's an amazing thing. You know, it's it's my blood. It's like what it kind of ruins you for anything else. Like I'm so unqualified to like do so I many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's like if I had to apply for a job, I'd be like holding up a blank sheet of paper. Can you right? imagine? Um, what to do? I I gardened. Uh, no. The city blacks out the sun. The style sure. that is pretty cool. Thanks, both of yeah, you. it's different right now. It's it's like, um, you know, I'm I'm going out on stage in in this That's and uh, yeah, and it's it it really frees me up. I don't feel like I'm right now. I don't feel I feel very confident in just who we are and our performances. And I think lately there's been so much of people trying to outdo each other with costumes and clothes that it's all kind of turned into sort of a white noise. And now I really feel like focusing on the performances and that energy exchange and that ferocity mm -hmm. is, is almost you know, the most important thing. Of course, well, the person you, I thought of straight away is Lady Gaga when mm -hmm. you said that, you know, her, yeah. kind of, her outfits take over, really, yeah. don't they? And you can't really, you can't, like, what are, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, put an aquarium on my head and walk around. It's just yeah. like, you can't, you can't throw the gauntlet down to yeah. that. It's like, she's the last word now yeah. in, in bizarre and crazy looks, so. Um, you know, it's it's interesting because it, it challenges you as a as a, it challenges us as a band to kind of figure out how to shift and and make something that's going to be very different. You were on Jonathan Ross the other night, mm. and you know what? I spotted your tattoo. Yeah, it's so cool. And of course, we all remember your song. Tell me, what's yeah. this about? Well, it's a, it's a very sad story, actually. Um, Mary was was one of my best friends, and I wrote the song f for her from our first album, um, just about our friendship. And uh, and when we finished our first album, she was a, she was a real. I haven't told this story very much at all. She was uh, she was obese. She was a really large woman, and um, she always wanted gastrointestinal bypass surgery. Okay. And we always said, I always said, if I make any money off this song, this is what we're going to do for you. And we ended up doing it, and she she passed away. Oh. Um, so that was a really, really hard um, moment in my life, and it's still, it's still really tough. Wow. So it's a, it's a sad. I'm sorry to bum everybody up, but it's. it's, it's but a on a good story. note, it's so a good got, tattoo, thank huh? Thank you, thank you. So I got this, I got this tattoo for her. Wow. And uh, and yeah, and I get to, you know, I get to. This song is so special to me. What was it like working with Elton John on this album? Oh yeah, I mean he's like he's like a he's like a member of the band. Yeah. You know he definitely has. A, you know we we really look to him for a lot of guidance, and he's an amazing he's a really major person in our lives, and uh, he was really integral again making this record. Nightwork is on sale tomorrow from all usual outlets.